Hi everyone, my name is Adam, and today I'm going to be explaining the functionality of the new layered text tool in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2020. So the biggest change to the text tool is that it no longer is a destructive tool. And what I mean by that is you can re-edit all the text items at a later date by clicking on the tool and selecting the text box. Saving your file as a .acdc file will also allow you to come back to these items months later and adjust accordingly. You might notice that the text tool has been moved out of the filter menu and onto the main toolbar. Interacting with the text tool will prompt you to place a text point directly on your image by using the cursor. I'm going to select the center of my image. Here you've noticed that a bounding box has appeared. This box allows you to pull the edges to increase the size. Rotate your text using the raised circle right here. While rotating, hold shift to maintain sharp angles. It also allows you to relocate your text to relocate Move your cursor out of the perimeter of the text box. Click and drag using the Move tool. I'm going to highlight and enter new text. Let's select a new font from the drop-down. I can manually select, or if I want to preview, I can use the mouse scroll wheel over top of the font section to preview different fonts. Let's give it a try. I can change the font weight in the same way by using the scroll wheel. Previously I changed the font size by increasing the bounding box, but I can also indicate the font size via the size dropdown right here. Why don't we set this to an even number by clicking on the box and typing in a value. Text color is adjustable using the color square. I'm going to click, and instead of choosing from our standard palette, I'm going to assign this text as a specific hex value. I'll change it to an off-white by adjusting the hex value to E8, E8, E8. I can enter inserted metadata by clicking the Insert button and selecting from the checkboxes. Let's add the image import date which indicates when I first added this image to my folder hierarchy. When the text tool was still destructive, like in Ultimate 2019, you had the ability to add effects like Drop Shadow. These still exist, but they've been moved into the Adjustment Layer Tools section, so they can be applied to any layer at all. Let's select our main text element. I'm actually going to adjust the text and center it, showing off the non-destructive nature of the tool. With the layer selected, let's navigate to the FX Adjustment Layer tool. I'm going to select Shadow from the drop-down. The drop shadow has been applied. Let's select the Shadow section to adjust the values. I'm going to reduce the opacity slightly. I can close this menu whenever I'm happy with it. If we wanted to change any effects on our layers, we can do so by selecting the newly added FX icon that appears to the right of our image layer. That'll bring it up again. Okay, so the previous text tool had the ability to make presets. Presets have been removed in favor of a better tool, and that tool is Actions. Let's make a watermark that we're going to apply to an entire batch of our images. But first, let's save this file as an ACDC file type so we can come back to it later if we wanted to. So, I want to create a watermark that has my name on it. To do this, we're going to use the text tool in conjunction with actions. I'm going to begin the recording process by clicking the record icon up on the top menu bar. Next, I'll add a new text layer. I'm going to place it in the corner and add my name. 
I'll adjust the size and font weight. I'm also going to apply a blend mode to the text. Let's save this action. To save it, click the square stop recording button. I'll save it as my watermark and I'll add it to a custom new category called added text. Navigating now back to manage mode, let's find a group of images that we'd like to add this watermark to. I'm going to run this action on a group of images in manage mode. Let's start by selecting a group of images. I'm going to navigate to the category we just created using the actions drop down. And let's play this action. ACDC will take a moment to run the effect and then when we view the images, voila, our watermark has been added to all of our images. Okay, that's a structured rundown of the new text tool. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. As always, please like, comment, or subscribe for more ACDC tutorial and video content. Take care.